Welcome everyone to a new episode of Building and Painting. In the last volume, we recreated the digital camouflage, and on today's episode, we are doing the highlighted of details, adding the decals and finishing it with a glossy finish. Let's start. As you can see, after the contrast we have applied to the base, the details seem very plain. So, we are using a very easy technique that consists in painting those details in a brighter tone, so we help them to show up and differentiate from the base. We simply use a brush and a very thin mixture of base paint and white. A little patience is needed here, but the result is worth it. This technique can be used either if you use modulations or other lighting styles. Think that after the wettering, the tones of these details are faded down and integrated very well with the rest of the model. As you see, we also paint the details of the base while doing the highlighted. This is the final result with all those details now more visible. Comparing the before and after. Before giving it a nice coat of glossy varnish, we paint a small square that our unit have in the reference base. We do this using some mask and real color. And now it's time to project all that work and get ready for the vehicles. We spray a mix of glossy varnish and thinner using a ratio of 30% varnish and 70% thinner, covering the model in several thin layers. Let's dry the model up to 24 hours before doing anything, and after that time, you can start with the decals. In this case, we are using the water slide decals that Meng provides with the model. The application is very simple. We put the decals on warm water for several minutes, until the decal separates from the support. Apply some decal adapter solution where the decals are supposed to be, and then put the decal on the surface.
Use carefully a brush or tweezer to place the decal in correct position and remove the excess of solution using paper. Now, for the decal to really adapt to the shape of the surface, we need to apply some more of this solution over the decals and let it dry without touching it. You can repeat this process as many times as you want to ensure the decal fully adapts the surface. See in this example how the decal has adapted to the lines and holes of the sides of the turret. After this, we need to protect the decals with a final layer of glossy varnish. To finish, we will remove all the protections of liquid mask and mask tape we used on the periscopes and lights. And with all that, we have now the base of our model completely finished. Next step, the watering. So stay tuned for more and happy modeling!